What's up, y'all? Got one of my... What's one of my favorite ones to ever do, really? Honestly, in terms of Ultimate Legends roster. I'm bringing to you Alex English. Old school. In the 80s. Killing him. A scoring machine. A lot of people... A lot of people don't know about Alex English, so. 82-83 season, 28.4 points a game. I mean, that's a... I don't care if you playing in the Pakistan League. That's a lot of points. Led the league in scoring that year. It was the only time he won, uh, won a scoring title. But 51% from the field. He's a Hall of Famer, in case you did not know. And uh, we had to put him in there. Not the, Didn't have really have the three-point range, but silky smooth release and jump shot from mid-range had a decent post game even though he was kind of thin alex english had to put him in an you know i had to put him out here i had to but that's not why i mean with all due respect to him he's not the reason why this is one of my most favorite episodes it starts right here with grant hill i'm people don't realize man especially if you saw him play late in his career y'all don't realize how good Grant Hill really, truly was. was. Were it not for the ankle injuries that pretty much messed up his little transition from the Pistons to the Orlando Magic, we would be talking about Grant Hill in the same breath as Kobe, LeBron, all of those guys. We would be saying, oh yeah, but y'all, who, who remembers Grant Hill? Was he, I mean, and then the longevity, the, the fact that he continued to play, as well as he did so late into his career is just another example. And some people might say, well, yeah, you know, play for money. I don't know if you and the people realize Grant Hill's father played for the Dallas Cowboys. His mother, I believe, was, I don't know what his mother was, but she, they were, well, put it like this, they were, they were not starving. Grant Hill was not playing for money. You understand me? He wasn't. He wasn't playing for money. He was playing because he loved the game. He had to be. Because the dough had to. With, I mean, he's married to Tamia, R&B singer. She's beautiful. Come on. And he balled out, man. But look at this. It, I'm not done. Look at that. That's T-Mac. 2002-03 season. 32.1 points per game. Six and a half rebounds. Five and a half assists. And he was just 23. Now, T-Mac was an amazing offensive player. He was. He truly was. I don't go as Gaga. For T-Mac though as I do for Grant Hill I just don't I mean T-Mac never won a playoff he never played for a team that won a playoff series and you know we use people like oh it's a team game that's true but when you're the best player on a team you're gonna get judged somewhat by your team success that's just the way basketball works and to never have won a playoff series or been a part of a been a part of a team when he was in his prime is what I'm saying you know we ain't talking about you know Adidas Damian Lillard 38 year old commercial T Mac, you know, on a team late in his career that's been, we ain't talking about that. I'm talking about when T Mac was the dude, you know what I mean? The early 2000s, early to mid 2000s, when he was one of the, what, three to four best players in the NBA. That's what I'm talking about. Never won a playoff series. But he's still awesome. And he still had to be on this roster. Had to be. Salad. Take a look so at this. A little bit of gameplay. Here's McGrady. Hands it from downtown. McGrady's got himself going there. His first points of the game are the deep ball. On defense, Orlando. They set the pick. Jennings kicks to Hill. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Well, it's been a while since Motor City has seen the playoffs on the basketball court. It just appears as though they've been stuck in neutral the last few seasons. With Detroit, as you said, haven't made the playoffs since 2009. And Steve, over the last few years, just stuck near the bottom. And they've been, you know, kind of a treadmill team. Good enough to not be dead last, but not bad enough to get a really high. Hill against McGrady. And he goes in for the jump. The Clark, we've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. Yeah, we sure have. I mean, it's been a bit of a windshield wiper game. I mean, back and forth, the lead is going. I appreciate y'all watching. Please subscribe. Leave me a like. Check out the other Ultimate Legend rosters videos. They coming. They coming. They coming. Peace.